Welcome to another PyBytes video. Today I'm going to show you how to automate publishing your package to PyPI using GitHub Actions. Let's dive straight in. Today I want to walk through automating uploading my package to PyPI based on a tag. So one of the things I don't mind doing is bumping the version um, in my code. What becomes easy to forget and cumbersome is also pushing it to PyPI. In the Python packaging user guide, there's this great guide how to do this. Let's just um, yeah, go through it in this video and uh, do it together. And uh, for PyBytes Carbon, I've been showing here on YouTube lately. So the first uh, requirement is that you put your test PyPI and PyPI API tokens in your secrets on GitHub. So if you have not generated those on PyPI, maybe you don't even have a PyPI uh, account yet. So go make that account first and then uh, generate those API tokens, one for test and one for PyPI. So you need two accounts, one for each site. So the secrets you set here on the repo under secrets. So we'll pause the video now and uh, set those and come back when those are configured. All right, those two secrets are set. And the next step is to copy this workflow, which is explained end to end. So I tied those pieces together and in my repo, I have this file. So we have a new workflow in the .github slash workflows directory. Uh, that directory actually already existed because on this project, I already have workflows to run Flick 8 in the tests. So here's a new workflow YAML file, and this is just copied from the documentation. And here we're going to publish to test PyPI and to the real PyPI. Now the only thing I added that's different from the documentation is skip existing. Because once I was doing this repeatedly for the same tag, I don't really care if there's a duplicate distribution on test PyPI. However, if that happens for some reason on PyPI, of course I want that to, to fail. So here are the secret keys referenced I just set on the repo and let's run this. So I need to add this. All right, and if everything went well, we should see the new action or workflow springing into life. All right, so that ran and it uploaded it to test PyPI. Yep, the new version because I bumped that recently after getting some contributions. Yep. And the real PyPI was skipped. And I forgot to mention that um, we put a conditional in the real live PyPI subtask um, saying that only when we push a tag, um, then do the push to the real PyPI. So that's what I'm going to show next. So here I did the version bump, uh, but on PyPI we still have the old one. Reason I want to automate this. So the goal is to next time that I add a tag, I want that new version to, to be uploaded. So let's do that. And now this condition should hit. So we should be seeing it uploading to the real PyPI. So here we see the tag, which is nice. And there you go. It skipped the 0 0.4, so it didn't fail the build. When I was doing this on a stop repo, this actually blew up the build 
it seems, so it didn't get to here. So it skipped 0 0.4 on test PyPI because it already existed. And it uploaded 0 0.4 to the real PyPI, the live one. And that's now available. You can now pip install it. Let's look at, at the other actions. It also ran the test. So it's that other workflow. Test passed as well. So all good. Yeah. So uh, for reference, you can go to workflows and take this publish to test PyPI YAML file. Again, it's exactly the same as this one. The only thing I added was to skip if existing for test PyPI. Set your secrets on your repo and you should be good to go. So hope this is useful and see you in the next video. It's Bob again. Hope you like this video and that you're eager to try it out yourself on your own projects. If there's specific content you like to see us teach about, please comment below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos and you help us grow the channel so we can give you the best possible content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.